Bang. Friday Night Flies. Friday Night Flies. Scotty Holmes tying up a fly tonight for you. I'm here with Brad and, and Boulder hanging out. Time flies on Friday night. Um, as I was saying to Scotty as I came in the store, it's verging on 25, 26 degrees out, which in this neck of the woods means the beginning of flying blant, black ant hatch. We're, what day are we in? We're May 8th. May 8th. That's Just really so you early, know, eh? In case you see the video yeah. down the road a little ways. May 8th. We're getting that time of year. We're getting that time of year, but black ant hatch is one of my favorite times oh, at yeah. the start of the season because the fish just go crazy for black ants. Like last year, I probably got four or five really, really nice fish off a mosquito. You might um, as well be sprinkling freaking fish food everywhere. Like. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it's good to get out there early because like the fish after a while, they, 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 after when it gets close to the end, they're done eating black ants and it's not quite as good. The first few days are by far. But the, like the biggest thing about fish and black ant, I'll tell you what it is. What is that? Anybody can do it. Yes. Because how do you fish a black ant? You throw it out there and leave it. Yep. Every once in a while, you just give it a little twitch just to make a little ripple and leave it. And leave it, yeah. And guess what happens? It disappears really quick. Yeah. Yeah, it was, I, had, so, I had so much fun last year. But anyway, that's what I would say right now, other than the salmon, which you saw, if you watched the previous shows, you got to see uh, Scotty's Whopper and my nice size fish that we had. We did that on Monday. And that if they haven't Tuesday. seen it, where can they find it? Yeah, at... at at PemmertonFishFinder.com. Dot com. Check out the fishing reports. That's where you're going to see it. And, and there's all sorts of, yeah. They're the last report, too. Is that the last report? The there have been lots of really good reports lately. It's been like. Yeah, I've got another one for the Birkenhead River I haven't put up yet. Okay. But it's probably tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We've got some big ass cutthroat getting caught <laughs> in the Burk. Wow. So the loyal fans that. out there, the million in attendance, look forward to reading some. I don't know. Fish I'm like part. a different person when I get behind my computer. Yeah, you in are. Person. You are a different, different guy. That's for sure. <laughs> um, oh, anyway, hey, so, what are we tying? Today? So we're, we're going to tie. Uh, it's it's called a snowstone. Here, Scott, I'll go down there. Scotty and I were out on the Lillooet about two weeks ago, and there we were is. noticing there was this really, really <laughs> small flying black fly. And I was like, Scotty, what the heck is that? Blah blah blah. I've never really seen it before. And uh, he he explained that he saw the same thing and looked it up and found out about it. It was called the snowstone. Um, we caught one of the nymphs. Yeah, we caught we one of the nymphs. We caught one uh, floating through the river. Yeah. Do you have that in a bottle too, don't you? No. You didn't get it in a bottle. Oh, oh man. Oh, my God. Oh, but anyways, what are we gonna do to them? this was this is kind of what it, this is our my variation of what it looks like. Boulder did something like this. Uh, he did with his with a little black bead. I'm doing mine slightly different than this. I'm gonna add a, a few Friday night flies twist to it. Yeah. What um, size hook is that on? That's size 14. It looks a lot bigger than that, but if you compare it to the to your vice. I mean, with the camera and the technology we're using here, we can make tiny little flies look like giants, so you can see them. Yeah, this is. I mean, I wouldn't go any. I wouldn't go any um, bigger than a size twelve, and I would. I think size twelve to sixteen, 12, 12, 14, 16, something like that. Yeah, yeah. somewhere in that range. Okay, let's get out, buddy. Okay, let's get out. So we're gonna take that out of there. Um, on this one here, on the on the original, I added weight to that. Um, I put a red tungsten bead on here, so. Um, hoping to have to negate that, but anyway, so we're going to start off with our red bead and we're going to tie on our thread. And it's a simple fly, part of the reason why I like it. This is going to change the way it looks a little bit, it's going to look a little bit more flashy than the original, but that's fine. Um, it's going to get down and then I'm going to take my saddle hackle and I'm going to pull off maybe, I don't know, like say 10 strands. Okay, would it be quicker than swapping? Line my tips up. That's a few too many. I think maybe I'm going to drop it down. This is a little bit bigger. Okay. And I want this to be about two thirds of the shank. Keep your thread we're gonna, on top. Oh yeah, hey, while you're there, we're gonna throw down <coughs> an answer for the million attendants. For the million viewers tonight. Okay, so now you got that on there. We're gonna trim off these. We don't need them anymore. 
So hit us up with some fishy questions or just say hi. We like chat. Or just say hi. That's right. Okay. Now we're going to tie on our rib. I'm using some glitter thread in green. It, it has, the, this stuff has the look of peacock curl. But it's not super strong is the problem. Tuck that in. See, that was a mistake on, on one of those slides that you're talking about mistakes when you're tying. I tied the fly. You guys were telling me to rough up my my bug, and I roughed it up, and I snapped the glitter thread. <laughs> yeah, and, you're, and you're like, and I, I just I just didn't do anything. I was just like, it didn't happen. I you just, know what? I'll just it continue wouldn't me until I look at the fly afterwards. That was so funny. But anyhow, Sean Mooney's in the house again for oh our God, fourth Sean. edition, the rendition. And uh, he says, took a while this time. Hello there, Scotty. Fantastic fish. And you got anything to say to that? Well, hey. We knew that already. But yeah, we already knew that. Yeah, it was a great day. We had a lot of fun. Uh, as I was trying to say when we were out there, I think the, the the hardest part was trying to keep the boat from banging into the shore while we're catching the fish. Was probably the hardest part, and get video and yeah. Well, the thing is, you got your head down, day. watching it freaking flail around, and this and that, and you kind of forget, hey, we're where are we? Boat. Yeah, we're in a boat here. So anyhow, thanks again, there, Sean. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna lightly dub. This is not a big fly. We're using our spiky squirrel. We're going to use the spiky squirrel down here. I want the. There we go. Had a little bit. A little bit of clumping, you can see it, yes, Scotty? Yeah. It's clumping on me there, so. Something like that. Not too much of a taper. It's a bug. Oh, okay, we're gonna need to fix camera. Uh -oh. Earthquake in the house. Yeah, I, I hammered it. That was like a... Yeah. Is it, but I don't think it's focused. I think it's looking at... No, it's oh, look. you, yeah. you hammered it. Oh, you <laughs> hammered it. I'm just saying that. Yeah. 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 Like, drilled it. Okay, right, uh, a little bit higher, a little higher, a little higher. Okay. Keep Sorry about that, guys. A little guys. higher, a little higher. Right there. Money. Perfect. So, we're back. Right. There He's we go. up there on the camera, cowboy. Hey, I, I hammered it that time. Like, sometimes I just bump it. That was like a full-on... All right, man, you guys are a hard audience. Show he says, if you only knew how hard we were. Okay, so now we're going to tie on, tie up our glitter thread. And I'm looking for about five sections. John Mooney, um, he uh, he likes he loves that spiky squirrel, but he had a hard time finding it. Well, Kaufman's you, SLF. Here's what it, SLF man. That's it right there. You know what, Sean? Uh, it's one of those ones. I think it goes by unnoticed to a lot of people. Like I walked by this stuff for probably a year. Didn't even oh it looks okay. And then someone gave me some, and I tried it, and then I went and bought it. And I, ever since then, I've really really yeah. You you like to throw it in everything. It's like Frank's hot man. Put that shit on everything. So this time with my glitter thread, I'm not going crazy. Gently. Just gently stroking it out. Okay, so now we're gonna put our wings on there. And you probably need like four to five fibers for each side, something like that. I wonder if the, the American viewers do they get the same one? The and you want them to be the Frank's hot commercial just shorter <laughs> than the <laughs> tail. <laughs> Isn't that one of like the best Super Bowl commercials there are ours? <laughs> okay, we got one on there. We'll do the other side. I think that's where it started. Still too many. Okay, so we're gonna put on the other side. OK. 
Okay. Everybody to the top. Let's drop them off here. Oh, uh, I guess so. I'm going to go for draw. Draw out. Hopefully the kids fall asleep and make a couple casts off the side of the road there at the Burke. Oh, yeah? Yeah, just fish that seam, man. That's where it's at. They'll be there. You bet they will. They just run up that seam just out of the cast of everybody else downstream, and then you get a rain on the man. What are you talking about? Well, I'm uh, fishing. I'm trying my best to uh, get out and do some fishing. I've got the kids tonight. For all you that don't know, I've got two rotten, beautiful little, little kids. kids. Beautiful little kids. Oh, they're rotten and stinky. Well, they're beautiful because they look like my wife. Thank God. God bless their soul. Okay, and now we're going to put on our... You can imagine a, a bit of a blonde-haired, blue-eyed girl with a big beard like mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, give her a few years, you never know. She'll be cursing you when she's <laughs> Oh, can you imagine? Oh, God. Okay. So we got one on there. I'm going to trim this off. We're going to add on a little bit of the ice dub. Yesterday you ran the heater, today you ran the air conditioner. <laughs> Supercomputer. Download that uh, GoPro. Sucked. You see that? Broke off just at the end there. It's just as I, I yeah, tied it off. That's once. okay. You, yeah, that's, you, you turned out okay, I think. Yeah. Good old Sean Mooney, liking the Canadian channels that are out there. Wish he had more. He's, uh, he likes the Canadian TV. Does he? Find it more appealing. Well, you probably just understand our humor. It's pretty dry most times. As long as you're watching the West Coast stuff. <laughs> well, why is <laughs> that? <laughs> what difference is that? Oh, like? man. You ever watch that program? This hour has 22 minutes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's so, a good one for you, Sean. That's Maybe pretty much it. Huge show. <laughs> there we go. I grew up watching that. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's just spin it around and see. They like their politics in the East. <laughs> Yeah, they do. There's a lot of policy, oh. political shows. Yeah. Rick Mercer. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind Rick Mercer. Yeah, but they are, this are so there we go. It's only good. Bingo, bango. Bingo, yeah, bango. Good with and that, I mean, like, play around. I mean, I prefer... The black bead, obviously. The black bead is, is nice. It, the red bead, I guarantee you, as I've said before, you know, you put a red bead on fly and it's... It doesn't matter what it, fly it is. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's instant money. It seems to help. I mean, it looks a lot different on the camera than it actually does in, in person. Like that red is hot, hot red. Like if you look at, look at how it looks, it looks totally different. Yeah. Like that's smoking red. And on a camera, that black contrast kind of tames it down a bit, but it's that's a smoking red bead. Yeah, I mean, like you could use a black bead. There's a black bead, right? Yeah. You know? it, it, I, I like to do flies. I mean, everybody is tying things that look identical. What I'm trying to do is we're trying to try some flies that are not always like you see in the books, like like everybody else's time, using the similar techniques and uh, and coming up with, with different ideas and, and, and making and flies that catch fish. And this one's going to catch fish. Well, Let's go. Are you want to tie another fly tonight? No, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. That's, uh, I'm pretty tired. I've had a long day. I had a dental surgery yesterday. And, uh, but I have to say, your teeth look amazing. Well, they won't even. It's it's gonna take four months. They I had dental surgery, so they put a post in my face, and you you don't have a lot of experience. They put a ratchet in and they tighten. 
this thing, this post interface with a ratchet, and it's you're oh, shit. Like, no, I am not. I am not. Sh yeah, it is. And then he then he loosens it off, and then he goes okay, and then he does it again, and he tightens it up a little bit more, and then he loosens it off, and then he tightens it up a little bit more. Oh, it's, just, it's crazy, dramatic. It's crazy. But anyway, so I'm tired. That, that beat me up a bit, and. Uh, Next week, I, what I was saying to Scotty is I think I'm going to tie a polar bear Mickey Finn next week. I was oh. lacking. I needed I needed yellow polar bear, and I forgot to call Scotty and ask him if he had yellow polar bear. We're going to go up top here. Anyway. Okay. Another thing is is uh, look forward to some really good fishing pictures this week, too, because uh, I'm going to get out there. And, oh, the and big, you're going to show big, us how, big, how big it's going to be done? Rod yeah. Gets out, you know there's something good getting caught in the camera. It okay, well, that's going to be good. So where are we? We're up high, <laughs> down low. Where are we? We're up top. Okay. Well, Scotty Holmes, tying up flies. Um, Boulder, I would have tied, tied another one, but Boulder was full on, tied three flies. To tell you, you guys got four flies for May 7th or May 8th. What's it today? 8th? 8th. May 8th. May 8th. Wow. May 8th. 2015. We, we tied up a bunch. Um, looking forward to fishing. Okay, we'll we'll let you know if Black Ant Hatch happens. And we appreciate you guys yeah, checking it out. Facebook. Yeah. And thanks for yeah, viewing. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for uh, viewing the show. Checking us out, checking hey, out. Hopefully, hey, checking was, out Facebook page. It was a real treat at the Cloverdale Rod Gun Show, man. You missed out. Yeah, I, you know, I wish there I could was, have been. There were a lot really of people did. asking about you, Holmes. Okay. There was a lot of people asking. Well, about that's you. great. You know, so and I'm, next time, next I'm show. glad. I'm glad people like the show. It's a lot of fun time fly, flies live. There's no question. It definitely right. adds a a little bit of interest to the whole situation. But right. uh, you know, yeah. Once I you guess. get used to it, it's not really that bad. You know. Yeah. Well, I don't think I time it that much different. We're gonna sign out. Okay, let's go. Okay, thanks, buddy. Signing out, Scotty Holmes with Friday Night Flies. Until next time, bang.